Welcome back to another video on LEGO Crayon 62, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my custom LEGO Crayon Mini Transformers Devastator. Now this is based off the Revenge of the Fallen version, and I'm making a V2. And without further ado, let's get into this it. This is Mixmaster. Now he's probably the least accurate out of all of them, but as I said before, I'm not trying to make it accurate. I like just want him to be a cement truck that transforms into a robot that transforms into a head of Devastator. So, it has, I think it's pretty cool has all six of the wheels, well, well, if he has six wheels, like, he might only have four wheels, but you could easily just, no, I don't know what this piece is, you could easily just take these two off, instead, and if you want to know, the reason I'm using this box is so I have a flat surface, because what I have here is a carpet, and Devastator doesn't stand well on carpets, no, so yeah, there's a uh, Mixmaster, you see he has a light at the front, the part where people drive, and there's a cement mixer, and there's the wheels over here. So, uh, yeah. Now, oh, I finally, after a long time, I, I got it into, I found the right colors to make him. Because with all my uh, builds, I usually start with uh, not right colors, and then I slowly change into the proper colors once I get the pieces. Well, and I only use pieces from my LEGO collection. So it's hard to find them sometimes. Sometimes they don't even exist, or I don't have any of them. But um, yeah, so this is Mixmaster as in its hard mode or cement truck mode. And yeah, now I'll, sh I'll show you how to transform into roll mode. The most of the transformation is just turning them like that. Then you just have this fold the legs down and turn the head. And you could pose the arms however you want. I like to put these as here as shoulder pads. You don't have to do that if you don't want. That's how I like to do it. And then, this will bring up his arms. There you have Mixmaster in his robot mode. He can't, he can't stand up. There. There he is. And so, in the robot mode, you can see he has the arms with the wheels on it. He has, like, shoulder pads. He has, well, what reminds me of an insect sack at the back. Um, he has two feet. You can extend the legs if you want, but I I just like to keep it like that. And he has that blue blue um, flat one by one round tile for the head. And yeah, I guess there's not much to say about this. We can move on to transformation to head mode. What you gotta do is it's pretty simple. Just rotate these here and these to come down here to form the mouth. I think these wouldn't be the eyes, but I found that these worked better as the eyes. Okay, then you gotta bring these down, and these are what's gonna attack the scavenger. And then you have Mixed Master in his head mode. I guess not really much to say about it, he has like that right there, with like the light or something. And he has the two eyes and the mouth here, and he has that part. Uh, yeah, I guess that's it. So next, let's mo we'll move on to the next clip. We have Hightower. Now he is super, super, super... Super inaccurate, but my V2 is actually pretty accurate. So, yeah, I guess like the concept that he's a crane, and originally he was a lot smaller because he was my first one. So I just tried to make him bigger to fit the size of all the other ones. And I like working on mini scales, so I did it so small at the start. So he has all six of the wheels here because it's supposed to be treads, or I guess he has enough six wheels if they're treads. But um, yeah, he has like a smokestack at the back or something. Uh, just the crane that go up and down, and as I said before, this is very, very, very inaccurate. So, um, yeah, don't just don't say in the comments, oh, it's so inaccurate. Oh, I don't like this, because I'm just saying this isn't. I'm not trying to base it off of the. I'm kind of not. I'm not trying to make it accurate to the movie. And yeah, it has a cockpit there. And yeah, I guess we can just move into transformation. So all you really do is just like Mixmaster full. Of, Turn off like that, fold that up, that becomes the head, and then this comes up here and becomes the legs, and then these fold out or rotate out and become the arms. They have a uh, high tower in his robot mode. So, he's again not very inaccurate. The, uh, the legs on high tower in the actual robot mode are actually the treads. And there's like a cage covering the head, which is at the very front, and there's still that huge body. And the arms are just little things at the front, kind of like T-Rex. And yeah, Hightower actually in a robot really reminds me of T-Rex. 
But this is this does not remind me of T Rex at all. Yeah, it looks like a regular robot. He has the arms there, a leg there. There's some things that came out of the leg, but I don't mind it that much. If you want, you could do this. Let me rotate this around and do that. But I don't I don't like it as much, so I just keep it like this. And now we could I show you how to rotate or transform transform it into arm mode. So it's it's pretty simple. All you do is uh, rotate these down and Maybe like that on a slight angle, then take this out, maybe rotate it like this. Then you're gonna rotate this on an angle. So and it's a bit it's a bit like that. This rotates back, this goes forward, and this comes out like that, and there. And this is what attaches to scavenger. And they have high tower in the arm mode. And again, this isn't accurate in the actual one. He has like a claw, a giant claw that comes out, and the rest is just like regular uh, vehicle mode high tower. The actual one barely has any transformation. Surprisingly, a bit less. It, it seems like even less than this one, but I don't know. Um, yeah. So I guess the thing really has much to say about this. So let's move on to the next transformer. This is Scrapper. He was um a bit bigger than the rest of them. Uh, I didn't really mind that, so I guess uh, this made, um, I was looking before, made high tower bigger to match his size. Um, yeah, so, he has smokestack back here, just like high tower, which you can obviously guess that's gonna become. It's a bit bulky back here, but I like to think of that as the, what, the part where the people walk, it's like on the aqua scavenger, or a scrapper. I felt like without this, it didn't feel... I didn't really feel completed, or before it was actually like more like that, but I felt like that didn't look really complete. And plus, I, I needed somewhere to put the arms for robot mode, so I just did that. Um, the legs here, you got, or not the legs, but the uh, bulls or whatever you want to call it, uh, that that's made up by these three pieces, which is the same as how it's made up by on Rampage. Um, it has the middle part right there, and if you want me to show you Rampage so you know how to differentiate them, uh, Rampage is, oh, this one is Rampage and that one's Scrapper. Obviously, you see Rampage is a bit smaller and Scrapper is bigger, and, well, he's a bulldozer. He's more of, I don't really know, but, uh, yeah. Um, so there, oh, you know, yeah, I guess that's it for his vehicle mode. Now, let's transform him. So how you transform is you bring this down there, and then once that stays there, these come down, they will become the legs, and this, oops, this comes around like that, and you turn this double plate right there, and this comes around like that, so it should look like that right now. He has one of the most complicated transformations out of all of them, so if you don't find this complicated, then, well, the rest of them will be easy. So these rotate around like that. And it's got to rotate this whole part around to bring that down. So it should look like something like that now. <coughs> and then you got to bring these down. Oops. Okay. That, that fell off. And that goes like this. And only put this. Rotate that part so it's going like that. And that goes like there. Then you just got to stand it up. This is probably going to take a while. There. Yeah. Have you guys followed on that? Sorry if my hands got in the way or something. But, um, yeah. That's why I transform him. And now I'm going to transform to hand mode. But, well, it's a bit easier from vehicle mode, so you might want to transform back into vehicle mode first. Zapper back in his robot mode. So how you transform him into the hand mode is first, you... Just gotta fold the or rotate these down, and these come up, and oops, those parts go behind like that. Scrapper isn't well; he's really ac he's pretty accurate in his uh, hand mode, but as you saw before, he's not very accurate in his robot mode. Okay, then you fold or rotate these around, then you can put these back up, then this goes down there. Oops, and this comes out like that. And this turns around like this, or rotates around, 
and this rotates around like that, then you're going to want to put these down for a bit. And this, these two parts here could rotate, could, uh, darn it, breaking, uh, those rotate up like this. I'm uh, just going to put that back on. He's kind of fragile. Um, and that goes like that. And there, that's how you transform Scrapper into the hand mode. And this looks pretty accurate to the Revenge of the Fallen movie. And has the three claws there. And this is just the part that attacks as a scavenger. I'll show you how to attack later, but it's pretty obvious. Um, yeah. So next we'll move on to the next transformer. Here's long haul. And, well, first of all, this video is getting a bit long, so I'm just, there's probably going to be a part two. And, well, if you're watching this right away, like, soon after I posted it, then, yeah, well, I'm going to leave a link in the description, but if you're watching it soon after I posted it, the link probably won't be there yet. So you'll have to wait a bit until I make the video, and then, and then put the link in the description. And, um, well, yeah, I guess I don't really have anything to say about that. Anything else to say about that, but here's a long haul. So, I really, I struggle a lot to make a dump truck. And the funny thing about him is that, you, without disconnecting anything, there's literally no transformation, except for that, that, you know, like, turning things that have no purpose to turn at all. And, well, yeah, that's it. So, you have to disconnect something to make him actually transform. And, speaking of, speaking of transforming, let's transform him. So, to enter roll-up mode, what you gotta do is rotate that so that that comes off of that stud and then rotate that around there and bring that up like this so basically again you're folding this one in that was just folded outwards then you're folding the one that was just folded in outwards like that then you bring that down here and rotate this down just like the other one and these just fall down there and there you have a long haul in his rope mode. This definitely isn't the best rope mode. I, I, I would I admit I don't like it that much, but I couldn't think of a better way to make him. But, well, at the time, and I'm now making a V2, a version two of long haul, and hopefully he'll be better. Well, he will be better because he's actually going to be based off the Revenge of the Fallen version. Um, so yeah. I like to think of this right here as his head, but he can't obviously see it out of that. And also in the Revenge of the Fallen movie, his head is right there. But I guess you could think of that as, as his head. It looks pretty good. Plus it has another, it has another use to that piece. It looks horrible in vehicle mode. And yeah. Uh, next we'll transform him into leg mode. So first, you have, you, well, you have to transform him back into vehicle mode first. So I'm just going to do that quickly. And, oops, that just comes off, uh, comes off a lot when you're doing this. Okay, and then to transform into leg mode, what you're going to do is add this stud between that uh, headlight brick and this one by one plate. You're going to, whoops, you're going to disconnect it. This is why you need to transform it back into vehicle mode first. And then all of these are going to spring outwards. So then you got to rotate this around. So it's like that. So if my hand was in the way, that's how it looks now. And I mean, bring that, rotate that down, rotate this around, and this just comes up the top like that. And I'm just squishing it together a bit to make it so that it's not too tall for a rampage as a leg. And yeah, that's how you do make long haul in his foot mode or his combining mode. Next, we'll do Rampage, or actually this video is too long. Um, Rampage, we'll save next, Rampage for the next video. So, thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and tell me what you think about this in the comments below. And, yeah, um, tell me, tell me if you're excited for the second part. Um, yeah, so, again, see you guys next time, thanks for watching, see you guys next time at LEGO Channel 62.